Hi, this is Shaman Weaver, Sheila Baker. So, um, I put a, it occurred to me <laughs> that um, I haven't seen any of you come and get a reading from me. So, as I was thinking about that, I thought, huh, what is, what's up with that? And then it occurred to me that maybe you don't need, no, you can't. So I put a link over the, over there to my calendar. So by all means, go ahead and uh, get yourself a whole half an hour with me. Because if one card is, um, uh, if one card gives you some insight, think about what would happen in half an hour. So I also want to talk to you about my new guide, who's an octopus. And um, I asked why an octopus and they said because they want to wrap their arms around me and what better uh, what better animal than one that has eight arms so I started to learn about octopus and what um, what is happening with that is that um, they're also telling me that I need to change some things I've been doing um, to row like this for two years now and it's it's lovely i've really enjoyed it but starting next week and not starting tonight um, but starting next week what i'm going to do is i'm going to begin to do a deeper reading and um it won't be um well i don't know um how, how many will actually receive it because they haven't told me that but beginning next week what I'm going to do is I'm going to be doing a deeper reading for you than just one card um, I see things when you pop on and it seems to me that um, I've been kind of holding back so my word for this year is bold so I'm going to be bold and I'm going to actually begin to speak to those things so hi Paula I'm Malcolm, hi Kevin, Amy, nice to see you, Val. Um, so I'm going to um, do some readings, some one card to row reading. But what I want you to get ready for next week is that I'm going to take you a little deeper. If I see something in your aura, or if I feel something that I say, oh, you know, I feel like you have a block there, or you know, this thing happened to you when you were 10. And um, maybe your father said something to you and it impacted you and that's been blocking you in your life. I think it's important that if spirit tells me this, that I pass it on. So that's what's going to happen next week. And this week, what we're going to do is I'm going to read some parts. So there you go. Chalice, this one's for you. Uh, a meeting of two emotional equals. So, and there's a healing in this. Um, when I see this card, there's a caduceus in here. So whether you're getting the healing or whether someone else is getting the healing, this is, it's an emotional healing. Um, it's also you being able, you know, this, here's the beautiful part. When you're connected to someone, you look them in the eye, right? So um, this is a meeting of you looking someone in the eye and you know what it could be yourself oh how cool would that be hi Susie so if you're just joining me what I said is that I've been doing this for two years now um, and um, I have a new guide it's octopus wrapping its arms around me eight times saying it's time for me to bring more of my gifts forward so starting next week I'm gonna do that via this one's for you. This is creating. Oh, thank you guys. It's so nice to hear that what I'm going to offer is going to be love. So who doesn't want that? Eh? So Via, this one's for you. This is the creation of a happy home. Um, and it is, well, look at the colors there. Wands, passion, fire, drive, connection to the divine. Celebration of life happens here. So beautiful card and Melissa this one's for you so some kind of an emotional turmoil you can see it down here on the bottom it's water it's a crossing over um, on the water sometimes when um, people see this they go oh well I'm gonna take a journey by water well that could be true however what I find true about this is that there's some thoughts and ideas that you've got stuck into your raft. 
And it's not a good idea to dislodge those thoughts right now, but it is a good idea to dislodge them when you get over here um, and it's all nice and peaceful and tranquil. So um, don't dislodge them while you're in movement or when you're feeling chaotic, but when you get to a place of peace, then start to pull those <laughs> pull those swords out, pull those thoughts out. L, hi, I haven't seen you for a while. Nice to see you. So thoughts are off the charts. And look, there's a moon back there. And this is speaking to the new moon. So by the time that the new moon comes, you will have used all of your senses, not just what you see not just well, the illusion that someone created in front of you. And honestly, it's all an illusion. Look around your room. You created this illusion for you to feel comfortable and at home and to share with those you love. So it's all an illusion. So go beyond the seeing of things. Taste them, touch them, feel them, uh, intuit them, put them on your heart. Is this for me? Val, this one's for you. So someone's being sneaky. <laughs> it could be you. <laughs> so when I see this, I always take these home first. So when I see this, we see someone who is um, grabbed up five of seven swords, left two behind, because there's a desire for that person to be found out. And what I mean by that is... Um, if you're going to steal, steal all of it, right? And take it home. But sometimes we, even of ourselves, we do this thing where we don't tell or we don't do full disclosure with ourselves. Have you ever stumbled on something and go, whoa, I didn't know I believed that? So this is kind of what that's about. Now, however, if you happen to be signing a contract, pay attention to the fine print. So, um, so yeah, be mindful. Is someone else holding, withholding information from you? Are you withholding information from yourself? Trina, this one's for you. I would talk about illusion. <laughs> so this is the, um, seven of cups. Cups are emotions, they're water, they're fluidity, they're all of those things. So the, um, the seven is about choosing if there's some indecision and em emotionally based indecision going on in your life so make a choice choose one thing there's seven opportunities that you have here choose one and in the choosing of just that one if you put it into play and it works out beautifully yahoo if you put it into play and it doesn't work out decommit and make a different choice you know we forget that if we commit we can decommit Elvira this one's for you the world okay so whatever it is you are at the end point with it you're wrapping it up and in that wrapping it up um, you have the ability to begin again because when we get all the way to the world card then we're back to the fool again because our journey starts again so you might be wrapping something up that went really well and relish in that you know really sit in that because there's a new beginning coming <laughs> and um, and you can look forward to that but in the moment you've you've got everything that you need the world is being offered up to you so there you go. Kevin, this one's for you. Death. So we're almost to spring. Everybody yahoo about that. <laughs> and in the almost to spring, in order for spring to happen, all of the leaves have to fall down, right? The sap's got to go down the trees and be underground for a while. And then there can be a rebirthing. But without a death, there can be no rebirth. So, Kevin, something that has been going on in your life, you're ready for something new. So let it, let it be fallow. 
there you go. All right. Marcy, this one's for you. <clears throat> and a cup of tea for me. Oh. The six of pentacles. Pentacles are money and property and tangible things. I'm going to put this up. Um, the person in the red garment has a scale. And they are giving, doling out. Remember, there's a, there's a term. Maybe you guys don't have it. But uh, we used to say on the dole. So we were receiving <clears throat> like unemployment or something. So I don't know why uh, that came up then but <clears throat> pardon me there'll be something important in there so this is a be mindful with whom you are sharing your resources so if you've just been giving and giving and giving it says that it's time for some reciprocity Malcolm hi I haven't seen anything from you guys for a while nice for you to join me ah a new beginning in the emotional realm. Um, love, and this isn't necessarily a physical person-to-person uh, -person love. This could be, well, it's, it's more than that. So this is coming from the divine, overflowing love, unconditionality in this love. So if you've got um, a new project going on, or if you've got something that you are, um, you're working on um, and just know that you're going to be infusing it and yourself with this amazing overflowing unconditional love so there you go all right Paula this one's for you so if you find that um, these little snippets are useful for you, I put a link over to my calendar uh, over there. So come and get half an hour with me. If you think that this is worthwhile, then do that. The other thing, if you happen to be in the Seattle area on March the 10th, I'm going to be doing, I'm going to spend an afternoon doing shamanic journeys. It's called Ignite Your Fire. Because it's time for us to get fired up, to walk our talk, to be on the path. And so come and, you know, come play. Come do it this way. All right. Miss Paula. <clears throat> Ooh, Knight of Cups. So knights are, um, they, they work for the queen and you're the queen. So you've sent this knight out a quest for love. It doesn't mean, you know, that you're necessarily looking for a life partner or anything like that. But this, um, <laughs> this knight is not taking the next step. And I'll put it really close. You can see that the spurs are there to spur that horse on. But this really is about using enticement, drawing forward as opposed to poking in the side and making it go. So, um, and the love that you, um, that this knight is after isn't necessarily a mundane kind of love. This could be a love of, um, well, a love of the divine. So there you go. Amy, this one's for you. Hi, Shiloh. Nice to see you. Um, Malcolm, you are so welcome. I'm just delighted that you happen to show up. So, <clears throat> Amy, this one's for you. Hard work, but it's over. So you're putting the finishing touches on something, okay? Don't know what the something is that you're working on. Although one of my clients um, a while back was working on a book with eight chapters. She came to see me just as she was putting the final touches on. So this is whatever you're working on. The beautiful part is you are going to be so delighted with it. It's like you've got certificates to hang on the wall. So um, perseverance. There you go. But eight, go and look up numerology of eight as well. All right. And this is um, for C Shadow Fox. Oh, you're getting a wake up call, a big one. <laughs> so this is Gabriel blowing his horn, right? He is not going to be ignored. 
<laughs> it's going to blow seven times, so be mindful. But he wakes up the dead. So whatever this um, spiritual awakening is that you're having, uh, you won't be able to miss it. So, And you can rest assured in that. Um, whether it's a kundalini, um, a kundalini rising kind of thing. Um, so this is here's a little teaching for you all. When kundalini rises, what happens is it starts at the base of the spine and it starts shaking you. And sometimes I've heard people say that they didn't know what that was, that they had this experience and that they just shook and shook. That's your kundalini rising. So if you are if you're entertaining the idea of having your kundalini, your life force energy, come up your body, then having clear chakras is a really good idea. So on shamanweaver.com, there is a free chakra meditation. If you haven't got it, apparently it's the bomb. So if you haven't got it and you want to have an experience of clearing, harmonizing, and balancing your chakras, hop over there and get that. In the meanwhile, Tessie, this one's for you. I'm going to dive deep in here. All right. A new beginning in the physical realm, money, property, tangible things. Um, and uh, take the higher path because you can see up there, there's an archway that leads to the mountains. So this is taking you to the, um, yeah, this is taking you to a pinnacle. So watch because it's a gift from the gods. It's not just a, well, it is a mundane kind of thing, but it's, this is, divinely inspired so there you go um stacy this one's for you oh she's a pretty um this is decadence opulence having enough uh money time and energy to train a falcon so first of all you have to find a falcon then you have to coax it to you and tame it enough that you can put a little hood over it and that it will come back on your gauntlet. So this is a beautiful card of, um, it's not fruition as such, but it's being in the flow of recognizing and seeing the abundance as it's there and where it's there. Okay, there you go. Susie, this one's for you. The Magician. So this card is a beautiful card when you are wanting to manifest. The Magician here uses the air, the earth, the fire, the water to, um, to bring something into the physical realm. So what I say is I take matter, a matter, to spirit and I bring spirit back into matter so whatever it is that's going on for you ask for divine guidance ask for angels every single solitary person has angels you know um, we might not recognize them we might not want them uh, we might not cop to them but we have them so ask for angelic help to manifest this and you were a super manifester by the way so there you go Gulam, this one's for you. It's sneaking away. Ha <laughs> ha. It is sneaking away. <laughs> so this says that you, it's time for you to hermit, to take a little time out for yourself. The hermit goes to the mountain and he didn't used to always have a lantern. He had a he had a, an hourglass. So taking some time for self-care, taking some time for um, hibernation, being away from all of the fray. Um, one of the things that you can do is you can do a, a Friday night to Sunday afternoon uh, vision quest. Close your blinds, unplug all your jazz. Um, don't go out, but meditate, journey, you know, over on Enlightened Spiritual Warriors. If y'all are not Enlightened Spiritual Warriors, 
then get over there and put in a request to be a member. Because over there, I just took them on a beautiful shamanic journey. And the recording is there. They'll be able to do it over and over and over again. And spirit wants to help us. It can't unless we're willing to ask. So there you do. Cindy, thanks for asking. I am actually awesome. I'm doing really well. Oh, which reminds me. Um, I was just at Newport at the wine festival and they have an amazing aquarium there. It's got this tunnel that you can walk through, but it also has, and um, so the tunnel I walked through the last time and I had an encounter with octopus. So I was really excited to go back to this, um, to this aquarium. And the beautiful thing I want you to know is that they change out the octopus and I'm imagining they change out the rest of the fish all every few months, like every three months for the octopus. So I was very fortunate. Um, and uh, I didn't get the old octopus that was there, but I had this experience and I'll do so, I'll post on it because he came and he touched my hand. But octopus wants to wrap his arms around me. He also said, stop hiding so next week what i'm going to be doing for um for at this time slot is i'm going to actually just be reading you um i might pull a card but what i'm going to do is a deeper um a deeper transmission if you will for you so that um so that i because i can see i can see when you show up that um you know, sometimes there's somebody who has something that's stuck. I can see that. And if I can see it, I can, and I know that I can help you move it, then it's, it's not okay that I sit here and don't do that. So that's what he told me. So there you go. So look out, starting next week, I'm going to read you, and we're going to remove blocks together. So doesn't that sound awesome? Rachel, this one's for you. Temperance, bringing everything into the spiritual balance and spiritual realm. So um, you can see that when you take the higher path, um, there's a reward. There's a crown there at the top of the mountain. So it is all about um, being in balance, but being in spiritual balance. So, you know, the mundane world pulls at us. It wants us to say goofy things about people. And if you have a look at what's going on today, um, we all want our shields up, okay? If you are hanging out here with me, it's because you're empathic, because you're intuitive, and because you're aligned um, more with spirit than not. So today's a good day to put our shields up and be protected because us light workers, now whether you claim that or not, I don't really care. But us light workers, we have got to be protected from all of that crazy stuff that's going on. So um, I have a wonderful podcast uh, and an MP3 on protection. Check that out because don't walk in the world bare naked. Well, you can. It's actually quite lovely. But, <laughs> um, but don't walk in the world uh, psychically naked. Put your protection up. And if you don't know how to do it, check out my podcast uh, on Shaman Weaver under podcast. <laughs> All right. Cassidy, this one's for you. Another, uh, another night. This one moving really swiftly. It's the element of air. It's thoughts and ideas. He's on a quest for some new ways of thinking. There's a little caution with this. You might be going so fast that you miss something. So this is a slow down, let the thoughts come to you as opposed to you rushing headlong into them. All right, Kim, this one's for you. King of Cups. So what you notice about this is that the king is sitting on a big old hunk of concrete, but not going down. Not only that, but there's a ship out there. And on the other side is this um, thing that's supposed to be a dolphin. Okay, something bubbling up from the unconscious. It's not going to take you down. 
your ship is on the way in. But in the meanwhile, it's useful for you to, um, to manage, to master, be the master of your emotions. All right. Shiloh, this one's for you. All right. Swords, thoughts, ideas. There's been some conflict um, that's, uh, it's mental. You know, most conflict is really. It's that we make it up in our heads and then we uh, we go and we debate with ourselves. <laughs> it's quite a lovely thing. And then we get all distraught. Um, <laughs> so this says that um, the conflict is over, but it hasn't... Uh, um it hasn't actually been resolved yet because two people are still walking away two of the thoughts that you've been having are absolutely positively not worth picking up um one of them you're doubtful about and two are worthy of you or you're worthy of them no they're worthy of you so um be mindful of your uh self-worth there you go suzanne this one's for you Ah, oh, lovely. When I see the Queen of Wands, I think of the High Priestess because she's like a um, a younger sister or maybe a cousin of um, of the High Priestess. She uses her familiar, and a familiar is like a spirit guide, a power anim, like a spirit guide. Um, and she communes with that. She is waking up her dreams and putting them into practice. She has a sunflower, so she's relying on the sun to make everything all right. So beautiful card. Wake up your dreams. Follow, follow your guidance and then take the next step. Cindy, Cindy Vienne, this one's for you. Okay, so you have been thinking thoughts that are hurting your heart. Um, so the beautiful thing about the minor arcana is that you can reverse them. So I, um, I don't know if you're actually ready to have that happen because sometimes when we're thinking things, they're actually, um, uh, they're sometimes they're just kind of soothing. So we do this thing where we, um, we self soothe by, um, by hurting ourselves. So, um, uh, let this let the thoughts just quiet there you go Gretchen this one's for you oh having enough <laughs> more than having enough um this is just a minute let me do a little adjustment there oh better thank you okay so this is having enough um money and resources to pass on a legacy and i'm going to put it up close you can see the couple is is touching the little person there is touching the dog the old man is touching the dog having a legacy means to touch something to be able to leave something to touch so this says um if you've been worried about that that you are already touching people samuel this one's for you Time to rise above the fray. Um, and, oh, you're so welcome. Um, and there is a call for you, um, Samuel, to be, um, to be pulled back in. But this is wands, passion, fire, drive. You've come through the fire. Um, so I'll ask you, do you really want to go back in? There you go. All right, RJ, hi, nice to see you. Ah, juggling on the physical on the physical plane. Money, property, tangible things, that kind of stuff. And um, your ship is coming in. You can do this. You've been doing this for a long time. The reason I know that is because of the infinity sign that's there. So when um, when you um, when your ship comes in, then the juggling will end. But in the meanwhile, you're doing fine because you've been doing that for a long time. You know the course. Andrea, this one's for you. The end of a karmic cycle. Ha ha, yippee for you. So thoughts and ideas, the mental realm. These thoughts are killing you. 
So what you want to do is you want to stop thinking them. But you don't even have to stop thinking. The karma is complete. So when you have thoughts that um, pop up from the old way of thinking, then just, you know, just go, wait, karma's done. And that can be your mar mantra. And do an action with it, whatever it is. It doesn't have to be mine. You're going to be able to push away, whatever. But the karma's done. Done. All right. Chalicia, this one is for you. Ah, money, property, tangible things. <laughs> There's a message coming for you about that. So there you go. Um, what am I getting? Oh. Um, it says to for you to be vigilant because you might miss it. So don't do that. Cindy Butler, this one's for you. Ooh. Um, pentacles, money, property, tangible things. The thing about this king is he comes from love. And he is um, his throne is literally drenched in grapes. So when we think about grapes, we think about celebration, we think about life. So the king of um, pentacles is all about um, not just being a master of the life, but really celebrating the life. So Sandy, this one's for you, the queen of cups. Um, she's a little fixated on her feelings. Um, she's got a beautiful throne. There's lots of little cherubs there. When I see her, what I want to tell her is like, look around. There's love everywhere. So uh, go ahead. Look around. There's love everywhere. And Tim, this one's for you. Ah, the emperor. So look at all those rams there. But once again, look at his scepter. He comes from love. So this is a card that says knowing when to bite and when to growl because every, um, uh, every interchange, interchange, yes, interchange, I don't know why, but every interchange doesn't need to be uh, conflictual and knowing when to take action and when to just sit back and wait for it to happen, that's a beautiful thing. So good night, everyone. And for the very last time, I'll tell you that if you experience um, that this is useful for you, this one little card, um, have half an hour with me. Can you imagine what we can do then? And I'm also going to tell you that starting next week, um, I'm going to be changing things up. Uh, Spirit has called, uh, called me out and said, you know, you can do more than this because I can actually see your blocks. So next week, we're going to remove some blocks, and um, in the meanwhile, we're getting one week closer to spring. So happy winter, everybody. Bye-bye. Bliss.